Today we're going to continue working on the SCX-102 build. We're going to get the transmission and transfer case assembled. For this, you're going to need your Plastics 2 bag. It's got your transmission housing, transfer case housing, and all your spacers and everything. And you'll also need bag D. This is with all the gears and bearings in it. The first plastic piece you'll need is parts one and two here. It's on the AX31375 parts tree. And the first shaft you're going to be using is your two speed top shaft, which you'll need the 2 by 8 millimeter pin here as well as the 5 by 11 by 4 bearing. Now keep an eye on the bearings because you do have some that are a little smaller. They really don't look any smaller but once you start getting in later on you'll notice that you have a few smaller bearings. Okay, the bearing goes on first. Then you take this gear here and it'll go on there. Then you take your 2 by 8 millimeter pin, place it in the top shaft. And then you get the, the longest spacer on the parts tree that you pulled the housing off of. And that goes on. Then you use another 5 by 11 by 4 bearing. And there's your top shaft. And then we'll move on to this 2 speed bottom shaft. And that's this shaft here with the gear that's made to it. Now for this one, take the largest transmission gear and it goes on the shorter side of the shaft you take another 2 by 8 millimeter pin and then a 5 by 11 by 4 millimeter bearing And that's the back side. Now for the front, you use the smallest spacer and that goes on first. And then the last 5 by 11 by 4 millimeters bearing. And that sits down in the housing just like that. Now apply some grease. You're almost ready to assemble the transmission. You do need to get one more piece off this parts tree. And it's this little piece right here. And this little piece goes right here on the side of the transfer case, or on the side of the transmission. There's a little pocket for it. Now you're ready to put the two halves together. Now you take four of the M3 by 18 millimeter beveled screws. Now go in the four beveled holes around the case. And they use your, just your standard two millimeter hex driver. And there's your transmission. Now I like to make sure there's no binding because it's easier to fix now than it is after you get the transfer case and everything put together. But everything seems to be turning pretty smooth. So I'm ready to move on to the next part, which is going to be the transfer case. You'll need the two pieces here on AX31376 parts tree, pieces one and two. Now for this, you're going to need six of the five by 10 millimeter bearings. And those will just press right into the case. Just like that. 
Now these two pieces are a little different and you want them to be the right way so the piece here that has the two holes going through it you can see right through this one and this one this case only has the one hole this is the front the, this is the back so now for this you're going to need the transfer case output shaft and the larger of the three remaining gears now it goes on the shaft just like that and you'll take one of the one of the one and a half by eight millimeter pins put it through the shaft there now that shaft ready to install put it into the transfer case on the back side I like to put a little grease in here now on this one because once you get them all in there it's tight fit so it's going to be hard to get the grease down to the bottom of the, bear, of the gears now you take the shorter shaft it's a 3 by 18 millimeter shaft you take one of the smaller gears and place it on with another one of the one and a half by eight millimeter pins just like that and that'll go into the center hole of the transfer case now see how tight of a fit that is that's why I wanted to go ahead and put a little grease in there before I put this other gear in and I'll do the same thing with this one now the next gear and bearing is actually going to go on the output shaft of the transmission just like that and then you'll have to put a small pin down inside that trans oh, down in that transmission housing and then the last gear here just slides over that shaft and onto that pin now just turn the transfer case gears Get that grease spread around. You want to make sure there's grease on all the gears. And then you're ready to place the top cover over your transfer case. Now to attach the transfer case, to attach the transfer case to the transmission, you use the longest M3 by 25 millimeter beveled screws. And they go in the top two holes. And then you use an M3 by 12 at the bottom of the transfer case to hold it together. And you'll need the three remaining M3 by 18 millimeter beveled screws to put this on. Now to only go on one way, just line up the holes in the back of the motor plate with the tabs on the transmission and it slides right in and then you place this little piece here in the same area make sure all the holes line up and then install your screws now the next step is to install the slipper clutch in your spur gear. Now the kit provides you with a, a 56 tooth spur gear, your clutch pads, and all the hardware you'll need for this. Now these clutch pads have a sticky side. You got a white cover and you got the pink clutch. You'll have to remove this right here and stick the clutch pads to the spur gear. But before I do that, I like to wipe the spur gear down with a little alcohol just to make sure there's no grease or mold release agent or anything like that in this area so the clutch pads can adhere good. Now you just remove your adhesive cover, line the clutch pad up, and press it down into place. 
and do the same thing for the other side. Now the spare gear is ready to assemble. Ready to assemble. The metal plate on first. I like to put the little spacer on and press the spur gear into place. And then another metal disc. Place your spring. And then place your M4 lock nut. Now I just snug it down a little bit. The instructions say to go down about 8 millimeters from this plate. That's going to be a little different for everybody because everybody likes their slipper clutch a little different. So I'm going to leave it right there for now until I run it a little bit and see how I like it. Now the next step is to install the motor, which I'm going to be running a just an axial 27 turn standard motor. I might change it up later on, but I do like how these motors run. I like the wheel speed of it. It's got enough low end torque. I've been running one of my SEX10 G6, and it's been doing great. So I know how this motor acts. And now we're ready to install the motor into the motor plate. Pretty simple. You got two holes. You line up, you line those up with the holes in the motor plate. Take the provided motor screws. It's the one with the big head. Put the bottom screw in first. Put the bottom screw in first. And slightly snug it up because you're going to have to adjust for your gear mesh so you don't want to tighten them down just yet. So you want to be able to move it like that. Now what I use is just a little piece of post-it note. Feed that in between the gears and push it together and then tighten your bolts up with it in between the gears and that paper should leave you enough room for your gear mesh there's a slight bit of play in there and that's exactly what you want you don't want them super tight because you'll mess something up and that's it for the motor install. Really simple, straightforward, easy to do. Now the next step is to install the slipper cover. Some people choose not to run these because it gets in the way of adjusting the tension on your slipper clutch. But I like to run them. I don't like rocks getting in there because this is a plastic spur gear. And you'll get a piece of rock in there, even just a tiny piece, and it'll mess up the teeth on your spur gears. Now there's a little slot here in the motor plate and that's so you can get your hex key in there to get to the grub screw of your pinion gear now the housing does have now the cover does have a little flap that will go over that so you got to make sure you get that down in there just like that now the cover uses the last two remaining screws which are m 2.6 millimeter bevel headed screws and there it is now your motor and transmission assembly is ready to drop into the rig.